Hi there, it's been a while. This is Sarah and uh, speaking to you on motherhood from an African woman's perspective. Um, recently, I met a woman, actually a friend, wow. and um, she brought a, a, a little son with her. The, the child was about uh, maybe five and the, the, the child was uh, misbehaving a little bit, uh, touching things going into my private spaces like my bedroom my daughter's bedroom and i was really really surprised because i expected the mother to say no darling don't go in there come out you can't sit there or be there don't touch that and rather than do that she's she was just laughing and smiling at the, at the child and i was looking at her she was looking so at, at a point the child was really touching some very delicate uh, artifacts in my in my in my apartment and I said to her, but please tell him not to touch it by break. And she just, well, very lightly said, oh, darling, leave that, don't touch. And the child kept doing. And I, I, I said to her, it's not so much about the things that a child is touching, but it's about what you're teaching that child. And you should, when, you should be a little bit firmer. And I was very surprised when she said, well, I don't really want to be too firm with him. He's only a child, he wouldn't understand. When, he, when he's grown, I will, I will teach him. And so that's the point of this uh, video. Some mothers think that uh, you don't tell a child, a younger child, maybe a three, four year old child, that you should not really discipline the child when he's maybe not behaving very well because he's too, he's too little, he won't understand. And I thought to myself, we know that, of course, a child, when you're a, a young child, you are uh, when you learn to eat you don't just wake up one day as a young child and eat you have to you are taught how to hold your spoon put the food in your mouth so the same thing goes with discipline disciplining your child or telling your child firmly not to misbehave if you say you're not going to uh, tell your child be too firm with your child because it's too little when do you think you would teach that child properly in my opinion, I'm a mother of two. I have two grown-ups now, but they were not always grown up. They were, they were a, a little kids as well. And I, I started, I started by teaching them when they touch things. I knew they were little, probably didn't understand much. But the thing is that the more I told them, don't touch that, darling. Don't be that way, darling. They learned along the way. You, it's, there's no way you can just wake up one, one day suddenly and tell your child don't do this when the child has been used to doing that that child is just going to be a bit confused maybe when he's 10 or 11 and start to tell him not to do what he's been used to doing for the past 10 years the child is just going to be confused so the point of this uh, video today is mothers if you want your child to, or your children to behave uh, well to be well behaved it starts with you teaching them when they are very little even when they can as they understand it when you tell a child Put that there call me mom the child will say mama you're teaching so at the same time that same time you're saying call me mama and the child is learning to call you mama call his, his daddy papa that same time teach your child to behave properly because it's really i always find it very odd when children go into other other people's homes and before you can say jack they're everywhere they're touching things they are going to people's bedrooms they're just all over the place in someone's private space and the mother the parents often they're just sitting there saying nothing and just smiling because they think it's cute really it's not cute really isn't cute at all to let your child come into going to someone's home and just roam around and you're not calling that child to order because you think it is too small you or she is too small and so anyway so this is just my little thing to you today so this is sarah again speaking to you on motherhood and parenting from an african woman's perspective until next time here is wishing you uh, good parenting by the way once again if you like what you're hearing on this channel press the subscribe button the notification button like the videos so that when next i have a video out you'll be one of the first to do Thank you for listening to this. Until next time, again, wishing you good parenting or good motherhood, as I like to say.